Hey folks, Karel here from Data Doosers. In this video, we're going to see on top a dashboard that we created to track the COVID data. You can check the creation process of the dashboard in the link on your screen. And we're going to do a deep dive on the topic of actions. We have created videos for that particular topic. And in this one, we're going to focus particularly on URL actions. With URL actions, you can actually make calls to external URLs to external web pages, and you can change the content of that URL dynamically from the data in your dashboard. You can also use URL actions to trigger mail to actions. So if, if you have something like an email list or something like that, you can actually open your email provider to send an email to that email address. That's another use case of uh, URL actions, but we're going to focus particularly on triggering calls to external web pages from our dashboard. So let's put that in the context of our dashboard. And let's say that our users are planning their vacations or they just need to travel to certain country for business. So they can go to Google and find the restrictions for that particular country. But we can actually help them and right from our dashboard, allow them to check one particular country and the restrictions that that country has. And we can do that using URL actions. So what we want is from this map, if they're looking to fly, let's say to uh, Brazil, they can from right here, right click and go and see which restrictions apply to Brazil when it comes to travel. So for that, we're going to use the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and they have a resource where you can actually find that information. So they have a map colored by destinations and all the travel restrictions that there may be or recommendations. And if you look at here at the bottom, there is a list of countries. All the countries should be here. So let's take a look randomly at Argentina, Belgium and Chile, just three random countries there. So for Argentina, we have that they are suggesting to avoid traveling to Argentina. For Belgium, same thing. And for Chile, same thing. So these are three bad examples, <laughs> but still, that's what we want. And actually what we're looking for is not here, what we're looking for is here in the URL. And if you look closely at the URL of these three countries that we selected here randomly, you will see that in this URL, everything remains static except the country name. And that means that if we copy this piece of the URL and we paste it in a new browser, we can actually put any country there that we decide, let's say France, and that's going to take you to the COVID-19 in France and the travel information. And in the case of France, make sure you are fully vaccinated before traveling to France. This is actually another example. And that's exactly what we're going to do dynamically from QuickSight. So we're going to copy this part of the URL, the one that is static, because the one that changes, we're going to control that dynamically from the data in our visual. So let's go back to QuickSight and let's select the visual that we want to use to trigger this action. And we're going to go to actions. And remember that we already have a filter action defined on select. We are going to keep that. And now we are going to add a new action here. We're going to name this as C travel suggestions. Now, if you notice, you cannot choose the select activation mode because only one select action is allowed per visual. And that makes sense because if you select, you should be triggering one action. If you have more than one, then a menu option is what you will be able to do. So a menu option selected here and our action type is going to be URL action. And here we're going to paste the fixed part of a URL. So this is the part that is not going to change. What we want to change dynamically is the name of the country. Now, how do we add that? Well, you see, we have three dots here 
and from there we are going to be able to access all the dimensions or metrics that we have in our visual and our parameters as well. These three are parameters and these three are the dimensions and metrics that we have in our map in this visual. Any of those is the country. So we need to find a way to add the country to our visual. Let's go ahead and see how can we do that in this case. So I'm going to close this for a moment. And if I open my field wells, I will see that I only have the latitude, the longitude, and the metric to display. So how can I add the country? Well, it's actually very simple in this use case. And what we're going to do is find the country, and we're going to put the country in the color. What this is going to do is going to add the country as a detail in this view. The colors are not going to change because we had defined a color for this chart. So if we right click, you see that the chart color, we define a custom color. But if we reset that to default, then we'll see that each country have a color because that's what we're doing here. We actually don't care because we want to keep the color unique for the chart. So I'm going to revert that and that is going to take us to the place where we were before. And all we need to do now is go to the settings or this visual and remove the legend. So we don't want to see the legend and that is going to actually leave this visual the same way we had it before adding the country. But we are going to have the country now in the details. Now, if I come back to my actions, I'm going to create a new action. And here I'm going to again select the URL action, paste the particle of the URL that is not going to change. And now I can add the country because it is in my visual. Now I can select whether I want to open this URL in a new browser, the same one or a new browser window. I want to open that in a new browser tab. And I'm going to save that action. And now let's see if this works. Let's try with Brazil, for example. If we right click, now we have the option of see travel suggestions. And that's going to be the action that we just created. Note that if we right click, the filter action is not going to be applied. Only if we left click, then the filter action is going to be applied. But if we right click, then we're going to have access to the menu. And here we can choose if we want to see the travel suggestions. And that is going to open a new tab and send me to the Brazil space here, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's try that out now with Canada, for example right click see travel suggestions and now we have canada data great excellent so that's great so now let's see what happens when we try to see a country with more than one word in its name so we're not going to use united states because the cdc is from the us and well since you are traveling from the united states there's no point to have this kind of data here so let's try to find another country with a combined name here, Bosnia and Herzegovina. So if we right click on that and we try to see the travel suggestions, we're going to get an error. Why? Well, because the name has space in between. So if we add dashes instead of spaces, then we are going to go to Bosnia and Herzegovina's page. And that's a problem. So how do we fix that? because that's a problem in our data, not in the URL. Well, we have to do a little bit of work and try to find an alternate solution. So for that, we're going to add a new calculated field and we're going to name it country with batch, just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a function called replace this one where you can pass an expression, a substring, and a replacement. In this case, our expression is going to be a country column. The substring is going to be a blank space, and the replacement is going to be a dash. And what this should do is, whatever it finds 
as a blank space in the country name, it's going to replace that white space for the dash. Let's see how that looks. And now in our map, instead of having the country in the color, we're going to use this calculator field that we just created. So we're going to replace the country with the country with dash. And if we see now, let's find Bosnia and Herzegovina. There you have it. Now, instead of Bosnia and Herzegovina, you have the dashes there. And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to go to our tooltips. Before we forget, we're going to hide this. And I'm going to hide this one as well. Great. And now in our action, we have to edit the actions that we created. And instead of country, we have to use country with dash. I'm going to save that. And now if we go to Bosnia and Herzegovina and we right click on there, we're going to see the travel suggestions and that is going to take us where we want. And this is great. So we already learned how to set up URL actions, how you can dynamically change that URL based on what you have on your data. And along the way, we found a roadblock like this with the name and the dashes, and we were able to fix that relatively easy. So that's URL actions for you. Very simple, very useful and it provides a lot of dynamism to your dashboards. If you like our content, you find it interesting or useful, please like our video, subscribe to our channel so that you can keep track of the content that we publish. Thank you so much for watching. See you around.